plasma is the most ubiquitous energy throughout the universe. It's probably 90% all matter in the universe right, is mostly plasma. The sun is plasma. Lightning is plasma. Aurora borealis, the northern lights, that's plasma. Okay, so all of these things, these are manifestations of plasma, and plasmas are being used now uh, industrially for a number of purposes. The question is, is could ancient cultures have known about it? And I think the answer is yes, I think they could have, And but were they? And I would say, I think it's very possible that they could have been. Why? Just like electricity is such a ubiquitous phenomena, and consider what we knew about electricity 150 years ago compared to what we're doing now and its applications. When you look at the whole 20th century, you've got basic principles of electricity, electromagnetism, and learning how to develop technologies from that. An electromagnetic phenomena would be a natural thing for any evolving civilization to utilize, to exploit. Plasma, you've got solid, You've got strongly bound electrons and neutrons. And if you add energy to the system, like if you add energy in the, in the form of heat to a solid, and every solid will have a different melting point, but if you add energy, the solid will melt. Okay, so now it becomes a liquid. The electrons and the neutrons are still bound, but there, there's much greater degrees of freedom. And that's why a liquid will flow. And, and you know, a solid, if we set a solid down, it doesn't change its shape because of how, how strongly the electrons and the neutrons are bound. The interesting thing about a plasma is it can be electromagnetically conductive and it has an affinity for certain geometries. 